Hello. Um, hi out there. I'm Gloria. This is Yoga with Gloria. Thanks for being here. We're doing a class today on balance. It's going to be a full hour class. And um, so if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Always good to see you guys again. And if you're new, uh, haven't checked out my channel yet, uh, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you're interested, I do additional uh, Zoom classes for yoga, qigong, high intensity, and also uh, weight training twice a week for each of those classes. And subscriptions for that start at $10 a class, depending. And then you can look at the description underneath for more information. And let's get started. Please say hello in the comments so I know who's up there. Abigail, hello, welcome. Go ahead and reach on up and twist and circle. Going side to side here. Fernanda, hello, welcome back. Let's go ahead and do a side bend here. Twist and over. And then other side, just twist up and over. And then we'll take a little twist here in one direction. Welcome, Exo Man. All right, let's go ahead and close our eyes, connect to our breath before we flow. So, just closing your eyes as you inhale for your belly expand. Let it relax down towards your spine. We'll go ahead and breathe three deep breaths in. Inhale to the top. You can open the mouth and blow it out. Two more times like that. Inhale. Open the mouth, blow it out. One more time. Hold a little longer if you can. Lift your chest. Take the sides of your neck back. And then open your mouth and blow it out. Let's take our hands in front of our hearts and drop our gaze. Take a moment to call up an intention for today's class. Feel that in with three ohms. Inhaling deeply. Oh.
All right, let's go ahead and start on our back. Let us go and draw the right hand to the chest. And then the left knee into the chest. Right knee into the chest, and this time we're going to straighten the leg and make circles with your ankle. In one direction and then the opposite direction. Um, yes, this is live, a live class. Go ahead and switch legs, left leg up. And you can make circles with your ankles in one direction and then the opposite direction. All right, let's have the shins parallel and we're just going to do a little um, opposite leg and arm. So we're going to just have the left hand and foot go down, the left arm and left leg straighten down, and then the right leg and arm straighten down. So the opposite hand will just go for counterbalance if you want. This seems natural that way. So flush the right arm straight, the left side straight, the right side straight. Keep the belly in, keep your balance, keep your core tight. The lower your Arm, your leg covers over the floor, the harder you're working. Keep pulling everything in. Let's do three more on each side. Two more. And last one here. Great. So knee into the chest. And let's go ahead and do half happy baby. So just grab, you can do full happy baby just so you remember what happy baby looks like. I'll start with actually the other side so you can see me. Uh, release your right foot to the floor. And then we're going to just, in this half happy baby situation, you're just going to lean to the left, get the knee to the floor. And then if you're able to, you can straighten the leg, come back to center, knee to the floor. Straighten one more time, just opening up the hip there. If you can, straighten, and then we're going to, Take it across your body just for a spinal twist. And option to straighten the leg. Option to straighten the leg here. So grab the bottom of your heel if you can. Set the thigh down and straighten the leg. And then take a twist here and maybe straighten the leg. So knee, toe. And then twist. This is a really great way to open up in your hips, your hamstrings, and get that nice twist in your spine, even a little IT band here. Let's do three more here. Three. Three. And one. Last one here, you can straighten that bottom leg, straighten the right leg if you can, and then bend it back, see if you can catch your foot. And just try to relax here. You can just keep the gaze a little to the right, or you can try to have a deeper twist by trying to bring both shoulder blades as close as you can to the floor. And release. All right, let's go to the other side. So you're going to do half happy baby. Grab your heel if you can. And then you're going to just rock your knee to the floor. 
And then if you're able to, you can straighten the leg and bring your foot to the floor. So knee comes down and then straighten if you're able to. And then take it across for a spinal twist with the option to straighten the leg. So the knee comes down and then the toe and then spinal twist. Knee and toe. Opening up, two more here. And last one. There it is. Okay, so go ahead and have your hand underneath, behind your hamstring. So we're just gonna rock on up to a seated position. Think you how you lift yourself. And maybe look back. Okay. All right, let's come on to all fours. For a little cat cow, spread your fingers, drop your belly, look up, inhale. Exhale, round your back, tuck the tailbone under. Inhale, look up, exhale, round and tuck. Two more here. All right, let's pop up into downward dog. So from here, you can just pedal your feet. Your body feels today. You can bend and straighten both legs if you like. And then shift your heels to the left. Shift the heels to the right. Back to center, right leg left. And let's bring it forward between your hands. Yep. Leg steps forward for a squat. And you can bend the left knee and switch to the right. Bend the right knee. And slowly come on up. And hands on the floor. Okay, so just uh, practicing a little bit of balance right away. Just do a little circle. So circle your ankles and your wrists. So we got to keep the ankles strong. So for when you're balancing, you want those ankles nice and strong. So take your hips back and hands right over your knees here. And we're just going to strengthen the tendons and all around the joints for the ankle and the knees here. So you could do a small circle or a bigger circle. And then take it the opposite direction. And then you shake it up. And just point your toe forward. Okay, we're going to check our balance a little bit here. Just tippy toe up. 
and down, up and down, up and down as high as you can. Up. If you have trouble with balance, you can hold on to a wall. Let's see. Up and down, really controlled. Three more. Three, two, and one. Good. And now we're going to try to balance the other way. So shifting. The hips can go back a little. We're just going to lift the toes a little bit higher. So it's not completely on the heels, but just lifting. You can just lift the toes up first. And then just like you're going to slip a, a paper underneath there or something. Just quickly up and down. This also strengthens your shins. You can feel the shins strengthening a little bit here. And it also it's like a good like physical therapist type of exercise in case you fall. So just to re-catch your balance. So okay, so three more. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and um, pop out some salutations. We'll move, inhale up, exhale down, lift and lengthen, exhale fold, right leg back, left leg back, back down to your belly, open your toes for cobra. And downward facing dog. Right leg lift, bend it and stack it, lift under your left underarm. Good, bring it forward, left leg steps forward, circle the arms up. Exhale, dives you down, lift and lengthen, exhale, fold, left leg back, right leg back, chaturanga or or up dog. And then downward facing dog. Left leg lift, bend it, stack it, look under the right underarm. Bring it forward, right leg steps forward, circle the arms up, and we're going to take our hands in our back here, we can do fists or thumbs, and we're just going to lean our hips all the way forward, you can even come onto your tippy toes. <laughs> And then pause, and then you're going to bend your knees, sink your hips underneath your chair pose. And come back to standing. And you can do a Kali Mudra here. Squeeze your glutes and look up. If you can, you can arch back. And then hands behind your head. Sink on down. Pull that energy up the earth through the soles of your feet. And go and send it back up and open up your heart. And try to balance. Come on down. One more time. Pulling up. All right, let's take that left leg back. Try lunge. Inhale, straighten, exhale, square the hips as you come on down. So try to keep your balance as you grab your left wrist straight up and 
bend over to the right side. And then from here, try to lift and lower, keeping your balance for six, five. So anytime you feel a little wobbly, it's fine. Just try to keep your balance. But the wobble itself is fine. Two more. One and two. And release. Cactus arms as we slowly turn to the right for six. Trying to keep your balance. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring the arms up. And slowly come on down. Your left hand can come down for an easy twist. Or you can hook your elbow past your knee for a deeper twist. Maybe open the arms. Maybe find a backward spine. And windmill the hands down. Step it back. And lower to your belly and your toes. And the cobra. And downward dog. So left leg lift. Bend it in socket. Just a new bit. Feel that hip flexor stretch on the left side. And release. Left leg forward. Come on up. High lunge. Strain both legs. Come on down. Exhale, sink on down. Grab the right wrist straight up and over to the left. Good. See if you can lift and lower the back ankle only move for six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Try to open the cactus and turn and balance. Steady and strong for six, five, four, three. Go ahead and drop your right hand down for an easy twist, or you can hook the elbow past the knee for a deeper twist. Maybe open the arm. Maybe find a backward spine. Good, Anthony. Step on back. On all fours, just flip your fingers around for a little carpal tunnel stretch here. Drop your belly, inhale, exhale. Take out your tongue. Inhale up, exhale. So from here, lift your knees off the floor if you can. And then you're going to come into a bent knee downward dog, downward dog with bent knees. And see if you can balance as you lift your left leg, engage your core, and see if you can lift your right arm. Little balance challenge here. Get back to center, both down, and then lift the right leg and the left arm. Back. One more time on each side. Kind of balance. And last time, the right foot up, the left arm up. 
Okay, how do we do? <laughs> Alonzo, welcome. Okay, go ahead and interlace your fingers behind you. Let's go back. And take your hands behind you. Downward facing dog. Right leg lifts, bring it forward. Send the back heel down. Warrior one, come on up. Okay, from warrior one, again, challenging our balance. We're going to come right up and lift, shift the weight to the right foot. And then lift that left knee up. So anything with the hands. And then step it back. And then lift it up. Holding the balance and back. And one more time, just like that. Holding your balance like this. You can even add a twist this time. So twist over to your left. Maybe even straighten the leg. If you're able to, you can just hold the leg here and release. Okay, step on back and let's quarter turn so you're in Prasarita. Parallel your feet and just fold forward. If your head touches the floor, great. If not, just spin the inner thighs back. Today is balance class, so if you have a inversion practice with or without one of those headstand chairs that I know Abigail has, <laughs> uh, you can go up. So you can um, go up into a headstand, handstand, if you like here. If you don't have a practice, then uh, you can just Wait this one out or do legs up the wall. Okay, and slowly make your way down. Lift and lengthen, and then we're going to quarter turn to the left, or your one on the other side. Bring your hips forward. Finding your balance as you shift your weight into the front foot and just bring your knee up. That's it. Step it back and just bring your knee up and balance. Step it back. Last time, just bring your knee up. And if you can, twist over to your right this time. Maybe extend your leg here. Okay, and release and shake it up. All right, let's go side to side here. Look back. Getting into that inner, inner adductor stretch here. Notice my back is nice and flat, taking the hips back. So most of you will probably stay here going back and forth if you're more flexible. And you need a deeper stretch, come on down. One leg is straight. If you can get your heel down, go for it. And more bonus if you're able to just bend that bottom arm and maybe hook your hands together for, or you can 
with your fingers or your wrist. Grab your wrist. Your other side, up and over. Come on down. Get your foot to the floor if you can. In case. Leg out. Option to backward spine. Quarter turn back to chest front and come on up. So let's do warrior one again. Left elbow over right eagle arm, lift the elbows or or thigh. From here, you can balance, um, shifting weight forward. This time, lifting that back leg straight up for warrior three. Anything with the arms, you can spread it out to the side, behind you, or forward. Try to have those back toes pointing down if you can. Good. And then windmill the hands down to the floor. Little scanny split. Option to take the right hand behind the calf. Try to go up a little higher. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and have a seat. Knee behind you. Lift and lengthen, and then twist over to the right. Maybe hook the elbow past your knee. You want to pad up your tailbone, you can just find a little balance here. Um, lifting back, legs off the floor, maybe parallel ish. Maybe right here, or maybe you can try to straighten it, grab your big toes. Your chest looks good. And release. Downward facing dog. All right. Inhale through your nose, out your mouth. Left leg lift. Let's bring it forward. Spin the back heel down, come on up. Warrior one. And we'll hook the right elbow over the left this time. Lift the elbow, hands away from the face, or take a little upper back. Weight forward, find your warrior three. Anything with the arms, spread it out, behind, or full pose in front of you. Hands to the floor, standing split. Option for the hand behind the calf. Pressing into the calf as you straighten both legs. 
And then bring that back knee over to your left. And let it be. Lift and twist. Thank you. Come on. Awkward. And just take your fingers to face your knee. We'll do two, three more cat cows with lion's breath. We'll come on down to your forearm. Open up your shoulders here with dolphin toes. And we'll just go forward and back, this time straightening the shoulders back and forth. Dolphin plank and back. Dolphin plank and back. Dolphin plank and back. And then take your knees and do a quick sitting on your heels, child's pose. Forehead on the floor. Come on up into a straighten the legs into a forward fold here. Okay, let's do a little horse stance or a goddess pose here. And we'll shift a little side to side, you know, shifting your weight balance, side to side, side to side. Now I'm going to stay your hands and I'll show you on the side of your hip, hips or back. Shift all the way to the right. If you're going to bring a back here and then shift all the way to the left. Go back. And then to your right. Feel that nice in your back, your low back. Two more here, and last one. Come on down, body chop, the knees out as you sink down in your pelvis, a little lower if you can, and drop your right shoulder forward, feel that inner thigh stretch, the right thigh. Drop the left shoulder forward. All right, shake it out. Okay, right leg forward. Let's do warrior two. Drag it up and out. And 
you can straighten and then come back to me. If you want to, if you rather sit, hold static, go for it. Three more here. Three, two, and last one. Take a little deeper in the front knee, reverse that warrior hand behind you or load it forward over the thigh, elbow to the thigh here, side angle. Drop your hand to the floor. Top hand behind you, roll it back. Find your half bind. Or if you have a full bind, press it. Go for it. Get hand reach. Send this foot in, the other foot out. One up for warrior two. Drag your shoulders up, roll them back, and then out to the side. Inhale, exhale, sink into it. Again, whatever you did the first side. So if you want to move dynamically into the warrior two pose, you can. Otherwise, just hold that static pose. For five. Four, three, two, and last one here. Reverse the warrior. Maybe the arm hurts behind you. Elbow to the thigh for side angle. Your hand to the floor. You can do a half bind or full bind here. Put your turn back to center. And we'll just slowly walk our feet closer together. You can grab your big toes with your peace fingers if you like, lift and lengthen and then pull forward. Or if you're able to do a more advanced version where the palms are up, and you walk up your hands. So the tops of the toes just barely touching the wrist there. And then you can shift your weight slightly forward and back. It's supposed to be very relaxing. It should be relaxing. You also have to balance so you don't fall over. So you can bend the knees for sure. Enjoy the little acupressure massage almost there with the weight on your hand. Release, release. And then slowly, slowly, slowly roll on up, stacking one vertebra at a time. And we'll do a little side bend over to your right. Any kind you like. If you like, if you like to do it like this, or if you want to put your waist, your hand on your waist, you open up side there, fanning out your rib cage. Okay, 
Okay, we're ready for our peak balance poses now. Yeah, let's just do a little, a little up and down here. Just do um, wide heels and toes out goddess. Just a little up and down the ankles. Three, two, one. Okay, take it out. And let's go ahead and shift all the weight to one, one foot. Take the knee out to the side and just try to find something that's not moving your drishti. Finding your balance. And if you're able to grow your branches and notice that ankle of the standing leg trying hard to keep your balance and let it just wobble if it needs to. Just find your balance. Some days it's harder than others. And just the more you do it, the, the faster you'll be able to come to that balanced state. So you can just grab your ankle maybe and take the leg out to your side. And if you find it's very challenging, then you can just uh, step on the floor without you can just step on the floor without a mat <laughs> because it's less give, right? Because the mat gives a little, so you'll sway a little more. So if you're able, to, if you're more flexible, you can grab your big toe, open out to the side. You can also be close to a wall in case you need to catch yourself. You can use a strap around the arch of your foot, or you can grab the bottom of your heel if you're more flexible. Tailbone down, chest lifted. And take it out. Other side. You'll be surprised how one side might be completely balanced. On the other side, you're like wobbling all over the place. Find that dristy, find your balance. Yeah. And grab your big toe, take it out to the side. Or you can grab the bottom of your heel. Chest lifted, super straight posture if you can. Lifting, chest it up. Okay. Okay. And while we're here, we might as well do another one. Let's just grab our foot here. Instead of, usually I hinge forward and do this. This time we'll just keep an upper body straight and just kick, kick back and see how you feel here. You can switch the palms up and kick away. Or if you really want to, you can fold over, that's fine. For your little dancer pose. So, your practice, you can do it how you want. Uh, just see how it's like, just upright first. A little bit of a nice different stretch. And then try hinging and kicking away. We're just going to twist a little side to side here. Okay, so since we're balancing today, we're going to do our pigeon in a balanced pigeon standing. 
So let's take our right ankle over the left knee. And if it's uh, really not working for you, you can just go down to the floor, but you can hold on to a wall or a chair if you need to. Take your hips back and try to balance here. You can also take your hands to your shin here to help balance. And you can feel that outer hip, right piriformis stretching on that right side. Good. If you're able to, feel free to bring the hands to the floor. And shake it up. We'll do the other side. So left ankle over right knee. Hips back. Balance if you can just right here. If you need to, you can bring hands to your shin here. Or hands to the wall or some stable furniture. And if you're more flexible, feel free to come on down. All right, release and come on down to your knees. So let's go ahead and do a quick little reach back for Ustrasana, camel pose, little back bend here. Into your back, that comes up last. Let's take that right leg forward for a low lunge. And you can stay here or reach your arms up to the sky. Punching the asana. Go hands to the floor. And let's take the other side, left leg forward. Interlace your fingers and come on. Inhale, exhale. Get option to lift the arms up. Let's come on and take the right leg forward. The right leg forward here for Ganesha Shasana. Inhale, exhale. Left hand comes to the outer edge of your foot if you can reach. If not, just somewhere on the outer edge of your leg here. Lift and lengthen and then fold forward.
up and do a quick throw it down and we're going to just twist over to the left. We can hook the elbow past the knee if you want a deeper twist. So the arm and the leg resist each other as you find a deeper twist. Other side, left leg straight, and then the right knee falls out for Drona Shasana. Inhale, right arm up, exhale, come forward, and fold. Oh, hello, Alejandra. Welcome. All right. Come on up. Plant. The right foot straight down, super straight posture, lift and lengthen, and then you're just going to turn over to the right. And this is enough, or you can hook the elbow past the knee for a deeper twist. All right. Asana, and inhale, exhale, come forward. And then let's go ahead and just sit comfortably. Whatever comfortable means to you, lotus, half lotus, or just sitting crisscross. Closing your eyes, inhale. Open the mouth as we surrender to our practice. Your hands in front of your heart. Let's press our hands into the heart and smile and feel blessed. And gratitude for our practice here together. Let's offer one ohm to seal it in. Inhaling deeply. Oh. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. Or if you're watching later as well, don't forget to. Um, if you found any benefit in the class, if you enjoyed it, this kind of balance class or um, just how you feel afterwards, uh, please give some comments or a thumbs up, a couple of hearts or something. <laughs> so I know that it's helpful for you guys. And feel free to leave comments on what kind of classes you want to see next. And again, if you want to join my Zoom classes twice a week for yoga, qigong, um, high intensity and weight training, you can go ahead and see the description underneath to sign up to subscribe. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.